Yo, 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 what is good everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys so much for stopping by once again. Today, we're here to talk about another super slapper collaboration dropping with Supreme this week. That being a Ramoa collaboration for those of you guys who haven't heard already. As you guys can see by the background, I'm pretty sure it's safe to assume that we're going to be spending a lot of money this week, but it's all good because we're probably going to be making a lot of it back and more if we're lucky, of course. I would say and recommend everybody go after it if you can afford it because uh, judging by how it went last year I'm pretty sure it's safe to assume that these are going to be pretty profitable but for those of you guys who are not aware of who Ramoa is or what they sell they're essentially a European luggage company they sell a lot of high quality traveling bags which is great because that means that the demographic is not only going to reach the younger crowds and people who are into streetwear it's also going to reach people who are you know into traveling and the older crowds as well which is great for resale so once again I feel like this collaboration is going to be a really profitable one but in this video I'm gonna try to talk to you guys about what I think about the collaboration my thoughts on it of course give you guys some resale estimations and predictions on how I think it's going to perform on the market and also I'm gonna try to give you guys some advice on how you can cop the pieces this collaboration normally does not only drop on Supreme it also drops on Ramoa so we can talk about that as well later on in this video but let's start with what I think about the collaboration in my opinion I feel like the luggages are actually really really dope I love the simple design that they went with this year round last year I feel like they were a bit too obnoxious with their supreme branding a little over the top but of course if you're a supreme fan you love that kind of stuff me personally I like the bullet hole design I like the little black box logo it's very very sleek very simple um, and not to mention that it's only one color which I know a lot of people are not a fan of me personally I was a bit confused I'm not gonna lie but now that I see the design a little closer I think it would have been a little hard to get two colors with that design on it so I guess I can understand that regardless this year we're getting two different sizes just like we did last year this year we're getting a 46 and an 89 the 46 being a carry-on and an 89 being a check-in last year we got I believe it was a 45 and an 82 and of course again like I said in two different colors in regards to retails I'm pretty sure that they're going to retail the same prices that they did last year last year the smaller one retailed for 1600 the larger one retailed for 1800 so still a pretty penny but if you think about how much they're going to be reselling for I I think that uh, you know that's not that bad especially when you consider how much you know regular Ramoas unbranded Ramoas go for this year we're probably going to be getting the same prices even though the luggages this year are slightly bigger um, I don't think that they'll you know hike up the price that much if they do it might be like 50 100 dollars nothing too crazy nothing that uh, you know will kill resale as far as how I think they'll perform on the resale market like I said in the beginning of the video I think these are uh, going to be reselling for a good amount I would say that they're not going to hit the prices of last year's Ramoas, you know, right away. It's definitely going to take some time. Last year's Ramoas right now are going for, at least the red ones are going for like anywhere from like 3,000 to 5,500. The black ones a little bit lower. Um, these, I would say, come Thursday, come drop day, these will probably be hitting for about 25 to $3,000, maybe a little bit less. Um, I don't think they're going to brick because it does help the fact that there's only two of them dropping. Last year, again, we had four, this year being two. The prices are definitely going to differ just because of that alone. But regardless, I think that if you are lucky enough to grab one of these holding it is not a bad idea But if you want to sell it right away, I think that you can definitely make some good money right away after taxes These are probably going to be a little bit under two thousand dollars each So if you sell it for like twenty seven hundred twenty eight hundred maybe even three thousand dollars for the larger one You're still in a really good place. You're still walking away with some good profit. So kudos to you But I do think that these are going to be hard to grab at least from supreme These are going to be almost impossible. You also have a chance to copy them at the Ramoa stores. I don't think they're going to be dropping them on the Ramoa online shop because that would just be a mess. But maybe, maybe, you know, they do change their method this time around and they do drop them online. I would say definitely be ready for that. But if you are fortunate enough to live around a Ramoa shop, which fortunately enough for me, I am, I would definitely say check in over there. Last year, they did do an online raffle for in-store, uh, you know, pickup. If you are fortunate enough to, uh, you know, sign up for that and when you just walked into the shop at your designated time and you shopped the one that you wanted um, I feel like they're going to probably have a good amount of stock especially considering it's their uh, you know it's their product 
I would say be attentive to that if you are fortunate enough to live around a Ramoa store because that's definitely another way to cop one of those. But regardless, this week should be a very, very interesting one, guys. I hope that if you're going for it, you can cook one of them up. Let me know in the comment section if you are going for it. Let me know in the comment section what are your thoughts on them. Me personally, I feel like they're really, really dope, but I am curious to know how the rest of the community feels about them. I looked on Supreme Community and they're getting upvoted crazy, which is understandable because it is a high, uh, you know, resale item. But um, I am curious to know how you guys feel about them. If you guys are new to the channel, please subscribe. Please support the kid. I would definitely appreciate that. Hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a video. I definitely think that you guys would appreciate the content that I put out. So please support the kid. I would really, really appreciate that. Also, go follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is pretty fucking elite, as I say all the time. I do not think you guys will be disappointed in that either. Stay tuned for the Jobless video. Stay tuned for this week's Live Cop as well. Because again, like I said, this is going to be a very, very interesting one but thank you guys so much for watching i appreciate you guys until next time peace